She was a true artist in what she painted, what she rendered, what she did was art in the truest sense. This is a retrospect of Maria Lowenstein's paintings and drawings. Her experiences during World War II, I think, relate to her paintings. A lot of the colors she used seemed very dark. She never thought they'd make it another day. Each day looked like it would be the end, either the Nazis or the bombs. Some of her sketches, pencil sketches that she did during the war were done with burned out wood pieces that she found from bombed houses. And then every once in a while you get these really bright red paintings. They just seem to jump out at you. The paintings and people are outlined, a lot of black vertical lines. She really simplifies them into beautiful shapes and colors. Maria Lohenstein was my mother. She grew up in Estonia. She moved to Berlin. She started then studying at an art institute. And then when uh, it became clear that the Nazis were going to prevail in coming to power, she sent me off to England in 1939. During that time, my mother drew and painted her despair. And she um, drew pictures of Job from the Bible because she related to the uh, difficulties that were inflicted on Job, each one worse than the last one. That was her feeling about in their life at that time. She was totally lost in thinking that there's no way they could survive another day, really. Henry Lowenstein's parents managed to survive World War II and came to the United States in 1946, where Maria resumed her career as an artist and painter, creating a surmountable body of work before passing away in 1982. When she died, it came at a time when I was incredibly busy with my life in theatre, but I thought there were probably about a dozen paintings and didn't pay too much attention, and suddenly 130 arrived. We're absolutely delighted when Nietzsche Noll looked at them and wanted to have an exhibit. Henry and his family were sorting his sister's house, and they found packages of paintings that were stored away in the garage for over 30 or 40 years. And, and that was just unbelievable. They didn't even know that those were available or around. She made her living basically by selling her paintings. Uh, she was always preparing another exhibit somewhere. Her style was always to make quick sketches, not a sketch to be seen by other people, but a sketch that would remind her of what she wanted to paint later on. She sometimes started, she didn't always know how it was going to go, but that was basically how she approached her art. She was very taken with Cubism. She liked to uh, introduce a Cubist look at what she was most interested in. She also did a number of complete abstract paintings of an idea that she wanted to render visually, but art should ultimately bring out fresh thoughts. It needs to create interest. It may even reveal a new way of looking at the particular subject. Art, I think, is one of the most important things, and I think it should be in everyone's life. It's uh, one way of speaking, but in color and shapes. But the idea is True art should inspire a whole range of emotions in the viewer.